Hi, my name is James Clem. Let's talk about the flow of bonding in a ceramic in the mouth. Now, historically, and I'm going to talk about just the ceramic here, we'll use hydrofluoric etch, and then we'll rinse, we'll dry, use a silane, and it's ready to bond. It works, and we've used it for a long time. Guess what? Ivoclair has made a new product called Monobond Etch and Prime. It's a one-step procedure, so you don't have to use the hydrofluoric etch. Hydrofluoric etch can be toxic. <laughs> Particularly if we get it on ourselves, in our eyes, or in the patient's eyes, it's bad news. We have a safer system now, we have a more proficient system, and it's really easy to use. Let me go through the steps. Once you try your ceramic in, you'll go ahead and clean your ceramic out. I prefer to use either IvaClean or steam cleaning or just a toothbrush. Clean out that saliva, even though the instruction says you don't have to clean out the saliva as long as it's not pulling in there and the Monobond Etch and Prime will clean it for you. You know, let's keep our system really clean as we go through this process. Now the good news, all you need is a micro tip brush. When you're ready to apply the etch and the primer, which is all in the same bottle, you'll load your micro tip brush, apply to the internal surface where you want your ceramic to be etched. Don't go over the edge though. You don't want to etch the outside of your restoration because it's gonna take a little more work to clean up the cement. Here's the rules when we're using this. The first 20 seconds, you wanna rub on the etch and primer. So you're gonna rub 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, you'll let the etch and primer dwell for 40 more seconds. So the total there is 60 seconds. And this applies to all different type of ceramics whether it be a Microfels Pathic, Impress, or Emacs. It's the same time period here. That's really nice. This system is really forgiving. As we went for hydrofluoric etch, you're gonna rinse away the etch and primer. Rinse it thoroughly, and then it's really important here to dry for 10 seconds. Yes, that's 10 seconds. When you look at the internal surface, it will have a different appearance than hydrofluoric etch. It doesn't look as etched, but if you look at the research, the adhesive qualities using this product to the ceramic is exceptional. So once you dry it, that cyanination process happens and you're ready to bond. Isn't this great? Take a look at this product and see if it's gonna work for you. I see it really streamlining our adhesive techniques. And that's what we want, consistency and predictability. And everybody is gonna be happy with that. Thank you, Ivy Claire, for making such a great product.